Hey everyone, it's me again, your friend Pat. Uh, we're back for another exciting episode of Measuring Dev Skills with Code Signal, and I have the honor of being joined again by our friend Albert. Albert, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Pat. Great to be here again. <laughs> Uh, Albert is a senior software engineer at CodeSignal, and his primary focus is to make the IDE great. So in the last episode, we looked at a lot of the IDE features that sort of make it a comfortable, seamless experience. Uh, but one of the things we didn't really cover is, if you think about like a modern IDE, normally there's sort of like a, a terminal component to sort of connect the environment. Uh, and that's basically what we want to look at today. I mean, we have something like that on CodeSignal, right, Albert? Yep. Okay, let's take a look. So here we are uh, looking at our code signal IDE again. I mean, we see the familiar definition on the left side here. We've got our code writing area. But now, in addition to our results tab, we have this terminal uh, window over here. Could you tell us a bit about what's going on with this, Albert? Yeah, so uh, the terminal essentially gives you access uh, to the environment that runs your code. Uh, so for example, if you type ls in the terminal, uh, you can see the file that you have right now. And even if you, for example, uh, run that file, uh, you will see uh, what it essentially would do, but it's all connected. You can change the text uh, in your ed editor, save it and run it again. Uh, and since everything is connected, uh, you still would have uh, the up-to-date version, uh, but it's not only about executing code, uh, you can, do anything you want with the container that is uh, created for you. So this is basically Ubuntu where you have a root access. You can install things, for example, Express, uh, because you have network access. Uh, and you can even start, for example, Veeam uh, and see the content of other files. So it's not only REPL, you can start applications inside the terminal. Everything that is supported in regular terminals are also supported here. And awesome. uh, last but not least, you can uh, start a REPL console for Node or for other languages, just for experimenting different syntax related things. Perfect, yeah, there we go. Uh, so then, I'm curious, I, I could see something like a REPL being useful as sort of like a scratch pad if a candidate was working on a, uh, on a task or something like that. Uh, but would we be able to actually collect a signal from that? Is that something we'd be able to see them doing? Uh, well, there are, there are different ways. Uh, one way is to use this during interviews, in which case both the interviewer and uh, the candidate have the freedom to work uh, entirely on, on their project uh, because the terminal and the ID are both collaborative, uh, but uh, we, they, they can be used during screens too because we uh, record everything, even the terminal, and then you can play back and see keystroke, to keystroke recording. And that way, for example, if you are hiring for a DevOps engineer, you would know how they interact with uh, Bash language. Yeah, which is something we probably want to be assessing for, right? So nice. Okay, well, you know, that coding replay, I think that could be an episode all to itself. So uh, maybe in the future, we'll join back again and talk about that. But as for now, I mean, thanks so much for showing us all this stuff about the terminal. I mean, this is basically another way that candidates can express themselves, right? So it allows us to collect even more signals. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, well, it's great to see that our IDE is so full feature that it's offering exactly the kinds of things that candidates are going to be used to in a VS code or whatever IDE they're used to using. Thanks so much for joining us, Albert, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks, Pat. Great to talk to you. You too. Bye for now.